Hey guys, today we're going to show you how to set up your Doser 2.1's Wi-Fi settings so that it can be accessed over your Wi-Fi network. Connecting the Doser to your network opens up multiple points of connectivity which allow you to access your Doser over the app, wirelessly over GCC, and remotely using our MyGHL cloud service. In this video we will use the static IP address method to configure and assign a fixed IP address to your Doser. To get started, connect each end of the included USB cable to the doser and your PC. Once you've done that, select the doser 2.1 USB connection and click connect. Once you are connected, click on system, followed by settings, then client mode. You can click on search Wi-Fi to have the doser search for nearby Wi-Fi networks or you can manually enter the details of your network here. The SSID box is where you type in the name of your network. The encryption box is the network security encryption of your network. Most networks are usually WPA2, PSK. The encryption type box is usually AES on most routers. Lastly, the Wi-Fi key box is where you type in your network password. If you click on the search Wi-Fi button, your doser will automatically search for nearby Wi-Fi networks. Select your Wi-Fi network from the list of results and click OK. Once you do that, you'll see that the Wi-Fi settings field have automatically been filled in for you. The only thing that will be left for you to do is enter your Wi-Fi network password. Once you have all those fields filled out, click on Use Following Settings, then click on Setup Wizard. From here, assign a static IP address to your doser by typing into the last box any number within the DHCP range of your network. The DHCP range of your network can be found here and also on your router's settings page. When you assign an IP address, make sure that you do not assign one that has already been assigned to another device. In this example, we'll assign this doser's IP address to be 10.0.0.150. The reason for this is because the DHCP range of this network is between 1 and 254 as shown here. The first three fields of the doser's IP address are fixed and cannot be changed. Only the last field can be changed. Once you've picked an IP address for the doser, write it down because you will need it for setting up a wireless connection to the app or GCC. It is also useful for pinging the doser whenever you want to confirm that the doser is connected to your network. With that done, click OK. Clicking OK automatically applies the information you entered into the respective fields. The next step is to verify that the IP settings you entered match your network's IP configuration. To do that, open up Windows Command Prompt by typing in CMD into the Windows search bar. Next, type in ipconfig and press Enter. Look for subnet mask and default gateway and ignore everything else. Make sure that the information provided to you matches the information entered into the doser's IP settings. If it does not match, manually enter the correct subnet mask and default gateway into the doser's IP settings. Do not make any changes to the IP address field as this is the assigned IP address of the doser. In this example, we can see that the default gateway provided by our network matches the default gateway that we entered into the doser's Wi-Fi settings. Our network's subnet mask also matches the subnet mask of the doser's Wi-Fi settings. With that completed, click Save and the doser's logo LED will turn white for a few moments, then turn blue. Once it turns blue, the doser will be connected to your network. If you'd like to verify the connection, simply reopen Windows Command Prompt 
and type in ping followed by the IP address of your doser. Seeing this result with 4 packets sent and 4 received indicates that your doser is successfully connected to your network. If you'd like to connect to your doser via Wi-Fi using GCC, simply disconnect, click Administrator, click New, select the doser 2.1 device, give this new connection a name, set this type of connection to Network and enter the assigned IP address of the doser into the host name box. With that done, click Save, close out of this window, select the newly made connection, and click Connect. Once you see the general settings page, you are successfully connected to your doser over Wi-Fi. If you'd like to access the doser from the app, be sure to create a new connection in the app and enter the assigned IP address of the doser into the host box. Thanks guys for watching this video. Subscribe to our channel to get updates on new tutorial videos. If you'd like to see certain how-to videos, let us know in the comments section below. If you have any questions for us and need further support, you can always reach out to us on our GHL support forum or by email at info at